who just found out that they will not be coming back to Earth for several more months. It's a far longer trip than expected because they're hitching a ride on a different vehicle. Here's ABC's Andrew Dembert. Liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. It was a mission that was supposed to last eight days, but now two astronauts at the space station have been told their trip will last eight months. The decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Butch Wilmore and SUNY Williams launched to the space station in June on a Boeing Starliner test flight, but the Starliner has been plagued by problems. So instead of using the troubled Boeing capsule, NASA is turning to Elon Musk's SpaceX to send the astronauts home in February. While Boeing believed its spacecraft would get the job done, the uncertainty was too much for NASA. This depends on you know, how you evaluate the risk. We did it a little differently with our crew than Boeing did. Boeing employees tell the New York Post the situation is humiliating, with one saying, it's shameful, I'm embarrassed, I'm horrified. Boeing saying in a statement, the company continues to focus first and foremost on the safety of the crew and spacecraft. The astronauts' families now reacting to the news that their loved ones won't be returning home for another six months. SUNY Williams' husband, referring to space, said it's her happy place. While Butch Wilmore's family tells Good Morning America they're praying for a safe return on whatever spacecraft that may be. Meanwhile, this is a big week for SpaceX. Tomorrow, the company will launch Polaris Dawn, a six-day mission that will attempt the first-ever spacewalk conducted by a private company. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.